So we're going to start out here by sharing some of the new resources for data centers that we've been working on here at Inductive Automation. In our online demo of Ignition, we have demo apps for several industries, but last month we actually added a demo app for the data center industry. So this is a new demo app. It's very realistic. It's a detailed view of what a real Ignition project for data centers could look like. The demo screens are fully functional, they're interactive, and they are completely mobile responsive. The demo includes a variety of different screens, including a system overview, an EPMS single line, a BMS heat map, uh, alarms and trends, and an architecture screen as well. So this is the first iteration of this new demo project, but I'm excited to say that we plan to release further iterations of this demo, uh, expanding on scale and features sometime in Q1 of next year. So for now, I'll turn it over to Chris and he'll take you through some of the specifics of our new data center demo. Chris, take it away. Thanks, Derek. Starting with the overview here, and we have some site level KPIs on the left. And in the main content pane, there's a diagram showing a section of a data center. This specific view focuses on electrical infrastructure and includes power quality meters, generators, UPSs, and PDUs. The red colored lines designate the power is on or hot and that the equipment is energized. And each piece of equipment is also clickable, which brings up a pop-up to show more detail and metrics for that specific item, including any active alarms. As Derek mentioned, we expect in future releases of this demo uh, that we will scale out the application. And this overview will likely depict multiple sections within a data hall or even multiple data halls as you might find in a hyperscale facility. The design concept here is to show key metrics and status at a glance without the extra complexity and detail of a single line diagram or engineering schematic. But of course, those detailed single line diagrams can be really useful in certain cases. So we've included that in our demo as well. Let's take a look. So here we have our single line diagram as you would commonly find in an electrical power monitoring system or EPMS. This includes additional data points that our at a glance overview doesn't, including breaker status, a more detailed electrical diagram. And this screen is built on an SVG image of the single line diagram itself. On top of that, we've layered ignition components to show real time status for breakers and equipment. As you can see, this page leverages pan zoom capabilities. These diagrams and schematics can be quite large and intricate. So having the ability to zoom in and out, move around the diagram while also showing real-time status of equipment is quite useful. You also have the ability here to switch to an interactive mode and you can click on equipment to bring up more detailed information in a pop-up just like on the overview page previously. The pan zoom capability isn't native functionality in Ignition just yet. Uh, instead, we leveraged a tool our application engineering team developed and we've made this pan zoom tool available to the public for free on the Ignition Exchange. So I'd encourage you to check it out. Derek will give some more information on that in just a few minutes. Next, uh, let's step over to the BMS heat map. So here we have a heat map showing temperature status for the hot and cold aisles in this section of the data hall. It's typical of what you might find in a building management system. When the time select bar below the aisles is green, the aisles and temperature sensors are depicting real time values. However, a neat thing that we've added to this screen is the ability to play back historical data. Selecting an alarm from the table at the bottom of the screen will show the aisles and their temperature values at the time the selected alarm occurred. The time select bar will change from green to blue. That indicates we're looking at historical values instead of real time. And the temperature sensors and alarm will also highlight with a white border to make them immediately identifiable. You can also simply drag the time select bar to any time of interest and see the historical values, then drag the bar back to the current time and go return to real time display. We've also included some metrics, uh, average hot and cold aisle temperatures in the bottom left. And in the future, we'll add additional sensors and metrics, including humidity, differential pressure, rates of change and other vital environmental data. All right, next we'll take a look at alarm and trend screens. And these two screens are pretty straightforward. The alarm screen leverages Ignition's native alarm status and alarm journal components for viewing and managing alarms. The trend screen leverages our native power chart component. 
And we're displaying some site level KPIs at the moment here, but of course, any tags can be trended here ad hoc for further analysis, troubleshooting. Uh, and there's a great example of that in the BMS demo app in our public web demo that I'd also encourage you to take a look at. Uh, and finally here in our demo, let's take a look at the architecture screen. So this view depicts the specific ignition architecture for our data center demo. And you can see two front end servers hosting perspective UI sessions connected to a back end server for all of the tags, the alarming, historization. You'll also notice that the back end has a redundant server as a standby, and that's in case for any reason the main backend server would temporarily go down. The backend server is also connected to a database to store history. It's connected to remote I.O. via Ignition Edge gateways. And you can click, as you see, on any of these servers to then get more detailed information and metrics on the health and the status of both the Ignition gateway and the actual server that it's running on. So that's a brief overview of the data center demo, excuse me, but we also wanted to mention that leveraging the power of Ignition's perspective module, the entire project is completely mobile responsive, as you can see here. So you can try the demo for yourself, go to the URL on the screen, or simply go to demo.ia.io, click demo apps, and then data centers. We look forward to bringing you future iterations of this project, expanding on the scope, the features, and our next release is planned for Q1 of 2024. Uh, so stay tuned. And with that, I'll turn it back over to Derek, who will talk briefly about something else coming in 2024, the Data Center Industry Pack. Thanks, Chris. Uh, so as Chris just mentioned, something we expect to release sometime in the first half of 2024 is the Data Center Industry Pack. The data center industry pack will be one of several vertical packs that we develop over time, each focusing on a specific industry. Since we launched the Ignition Exchange back in 2019, it's been used for finding and sharing community-made resources to help you build Ignition projects faster and better. Now with the launch of industry packs, we're expanding the use case of the exchange to offer collections of resources that are designed for the needs of specific industries. The idea here is that Ignition as a platform gives you immense flexibility to build whatever you can dream up for your projects and solutions, but sometimes having pre-built solutions can, can really help kickstart the development of a project or supplement an existing project. That's where the exchange and soon industry packs comes in. The industry packs will provide several resources specific to an industry like water, wastewater, oil and gas, or in this case, data centers in the form of perspective views, UDT tags, pop-ups, uh, scripting resources, anything like that that can be deployed in a project to help jumpstart new projects or supplement existing ones. Also, as Chris mentioned earlier, the pan zoom tool that we leveraged in our data center demo developed by application engineer Mike Bordyukov is available, is available for download on the Ignition Exchange. It's called the pan zoom iframe, and it can be found by, brow by browsing the Ignition Exchange or directly from the URL provided here. Uh, one last thing that I would like to mention is that our dev team is designing a prototype container for Perspective that will natively provide similar functionality in the future, but it's currently in early development and prototyping, so it's likely a ways out, probably 8.3 and beyond. Um, so this PanZoom iframe that we have in the Exchange is still a great solution for that functionality for now. I invite you to check out that resource and all of the great Ignition resources that we have available on the, the Ignition Exchange 